Hello everyone, it's Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. The voice is a bit croaky today, no reason, it's just croaky. Must have been shouting at kids too much. Yeah, <laughs> they are on holiday. Right, well you can see what I've got for you today. Just a little tag. Yeah, but it's just got a little twist, literally. Yeah, it's just a little twisty tag. Yeah, you can either use it as a twisty tag I've just covered it where some brads are there. Uh, yeah, pop it in something as a tag, or you could fasten it to a page, and it could be a pocket. When that's fastened down, obviously, you'll be able to swing that round, and you've got some extra journaling space. So, there it is. Nice and easy and simple. You'll be getting a lot of easy, simple ones with kids being off. I don't know what's up with them, they just seem to be high maintenance this time. <laughs> Might be alright next week. Be arguing, arguing. Right, you don't have to make this any particular size. I happen to have made mine the size of. I've used these. I just find it cheaper to buy cards lately than buy sheets of A4 card. I don't know why. Just do. And these are five and three quarters high, so I made my tag five and three quarters high, and I made it two and a half wide. So I'm going to do another one two and a half wide. So I want two bits of card, five and three quarters by two and a half. But like I say, make them any size you want. That just happens to be the size I'm making them. Hmm. I don't know that. Oh, you can make yours any size you want, can't you, Gertrude? No one's telling you. Yeah? Yeah, she's getting a little bit vocal again in her old age. I think she's feeling a bit threatened, knowing she's not going to get an upgrade when all her other posher <laughs> devices will be doing. Uh, so yeah, and I just went around and rounded the corners, because I did. Now the only place I've matted, but you don't even have to do that, I just thought it looked nicer when I swung it open to have some paper there. It's just some tea dyed lime paper. So I've cut that just a quarter of an inch smaller than the tag, and I've got one ready. There you go. So a quarter of an inch smaller is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. But you mat it how you want. I've been liking this torn look lately. You could tear it with your tear ruler. Yeah. Right, and for some reason I forgot I owned Vintage Photo and a Distress Oxide. <laughs> I've been using my Vintage Photo Ordinary Distress Ink and I do like an oxide on a craft paper. So I've dug that out. It just seems to cover quicker and easier and show up better. I've said that so many times, I'm in danger of repeating myself for the hundredth time. <clears throat> I'm trying to speak up with my voice, is going all croaky. Croaky makes squawky. I've no idea what that means. It just came out of my mouth. I often suffer from uh, mouth engaging before brain syndrome. Right, so I've just inked way around them. I'm going to duck back but I'll do that off camera. You've seen enough thinking. Oh and them bits I'll just use them for punching tags the middle of the card. So let's ink round this tea dyed one as well. Did I turn camera on? Yeah I did so I'm, I'm off to a good start. <laughs> I just had this awful feeling that I forgot to do it. Right, yeah, well, while I'm here as well, I would like to say hello and welcome to my new subscribers. I've had quite a few again over the weekend, so it's lovely to have you here. Right, I'm sticking this on with bog standard. Well, it's not bog standard, it's just glue stick. My favourite one, my Elmer's. Now we've cooled down a bit here, I can get my glue stick back out without fear of it melting on me. I mean, even my ordinary PVA glue volcano in last week with eight. I don't know how you people in the US are coping. Yeah, oh, I hope we're managing to keep cool. This makes our heat wave look like a slightly warm day. It's not what they are having. Right. So I'm going to pop that on there. And just smooth it out. I'll have to 
drag my brayer out. I've seen quite a few people using brayers now for doing this. I'd be a bit upset if I got glue on my brayer though, is that really sad? Because <laughs> I do actually use my brayer when I'm making mini albums to smooth out the um, yeah covers when I've matted them with paper. Right, I've already gone and cut a piece of this out. And in case you're wondering what this is, it's the... What's it called? I'm not recommending you go and buy this book because it's stupid money at the minute. Concise British flooring colour. Before I used any, I went and had a look how much it is on eBay. It's about £25. That's absolutely ridiculous. Couldn't tell you what I paid, but it was nowhere near that. I, no. I'd rather walk on Ockels than pay £25 for a second hand book. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And I like to cut this up on things because no matter where you cut it you just end up with a nice picture you don't have to think about where to cut it and that one ended up with a nettle on but I think that nettle's pretty my garden's full of pretty nettles and this one is something in Latin <laughs> couldn't tell you where it were so I think this one and then that's all our preparation done Gertrude's gone quiet now. Disturb me back door slam. My eldest's gone to the shop to get me a few bitties and bobbies. Right. And this one, because it's a little bit thicker and heavier, I've uh, put this one on with my Kalal glue. Okay, it's just whatever glue you prefer. My tastes in glue do change from time to time. I'm always on the hunt for the best possible glue for the cheapest possible price because you don't have to get through a lot of glue when you're making every day. I like to put it on quite thin when I'm just putting a tag front on like this. If I were like putting cover on an album I'd put it on quite a bit thicker and like I said then go over with my brayer to squish it all out. So that's that, so it just looks like two tags at the minute. Now the tab I've put on the top is one of the ones I've cut out with my Cricut machine. Uh, just email me or send me a message on Instagram or wherever. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I check Facebook once a blue moon, so expect an answer in about three weeks if you message me on Facebook. Instagram, I tend to be on it daily. Email if you end up in my spam or my trash by accident. I'll find you about once every three months when I delete my folders when it tells me I've got no more storage left. I'm terrible with email. Right, so I've just inked that. Right, I'm going to put the tab just on that one, yeah? And I'll stick it on. We'll use art glitter. I use my PVA on that one. But art glitter will dry a bit quicker. And let us crack on. Yeah, it's, it's a variation on that shape, the uh, yeah, whale tail tab as everyone calls it. I just fiddled about and made one on my cricket. Oops, don't get glue on your top woman. Silly woman. Have I been even on camera for any of this tutorial? <laughs> I'm a bit chilled. I don't know why I want kids to be arguing left, right and centre. You have to put yourself in that zen state, don't you? Just let it wash over you. Because I have shouted. But that isn't why my voice is gone. I don't know <coughs> why that is. I don't know if hay fever affects your voice. I know I've been very bunged up and stuffy with runny eyes. I'm taking my antihistamines. Do you get used to antihistamines? I've no idea. Do they become less effective? Do you need a different one? Anyway, I'll ask Doctor that instead of you lot. I've not put that one in the middle, which is going to really annoy me, so I'm just going to shoogle it over a little bit. Shoogle. I love that word, shoogle. I'm, I'm thinking it's a Scottish word because I like my Scottish crime novels and my favourite author is Stuart McBride and there's always a shoogle in his book. Right, I'm going to punch this hole first. I know I need to put another hole in the tag, but my little punch 
won't go through them all. And the reason I'm not using now there, double of that. But the reason I'm not using my crocodile is I can see where to put it better with this. Will it even go through this? Go on, do it. So you did last one. We. One of my subscribers kindly said to me, if you take off the little piece on this that's supposed to collect all your clippings, you can see exactly where you're punching and you can. Best tip ever. So I've punched that. Then I'm going to place my other card behind. Yeah, and I'm going to punch again in the same place. And I can see exactly where the hole is with this. It's perfect. There you go. Now is when I'm going to come in and use a brad. Brads, where are you? There you go. I, I mentioned these brads in my video the other day and then I forgot to add it to my Amazon storefront. It is on there now. And yeah, they've gone up a little bit since I bought them. But I did pay, I paid £6. I paid £6 something. There's 200 of them and they're a lovely colour. And I just liked them. So I did think that were worth it. It's only a couple of pence a brad, isn't it, really? Well, perhaps 3p a brad, is that? Yeah, something like that. So, you put it through there, you fold out your legs, and there you've got your little swing tag. Yeah? I quite like that. I mean, you could go to town, you could put another one there. You could have one, two swinging out. Yeah? Put as much swinging as you like. You could, you could perhaps... Yeah, put, you could put a smaller one up inside that and you could have a little swing at the bottom as well as a swing at the top. Mm, oh, yeah, that might be an idea. I suppose you could cover the brad up. No, your brad's not going to show on the front, is it? Mm, it might make your tag not look so neat. But yeah, try it, have a look, have a see. Now, only thing left is to cover that up. And what I'm going to do with this one, I just picked a random label I've got. I'm going to use, I've got this label punch. Have label punch, we'll use it. And this time it's in the same colour as the card. So Now if you're going to stick this down to a journal as a page, you won't even need to cover the brad up. But I think I'm going to use them as tags in pockets. So I'm just going to pop that on. Um, yeah, you could put another label on. You could just attach it to the top and make it one of them little tag tuck things like that, couldn't you? You could. But I'm not going to, because I can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, I want that the... I want it round the matching colour way, so I'm just going to... Yeah, make sure it's going to lay flat. Yeah, this quite often craft card is a slightly different colour on each side, isn't it? And I'm not going to ink it, I don't want to ink it. Shall I put, I might just put a bit of tape over that. Yeah, I'm going to. I didn't on my last one, but I've just got the urge to do it on this one. I'm going to use my red liner tape because I've got it. Any tape will do. Like I said, I didn't even put any on the last one at all. Just hold these brad legs in place a little bit better, I think. I'm going to leave a bit of room. No, I don't, because the glue will stick to tape, won't it? Stop being silly, woman. Just go on with the woman. Just do it. <laughs> so I'll peel that off and then I'll put a bit of ink around the edge of my tag. Tab. Oops. Right, I have found some stainless steel pins and this is going to kill you this. I forgot where I got them from but I will troll through my emails. I've just found a company online and bought them. The thing is, they don't have a pearl head, they've got a tiny little dipped head and I keep picking that glue up and not realising pins in. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. That's why I keep picking my glue up and it won't come out at all. Alright, just pop that on. And then we have a little swing tag. And I looked to see, when I come up with this idea, I looked to see if anyone else had done it. I think I did a similar one once before, but it was something that swung from bottom. And I found out that the, a swing tag is actually just a tag with a bit of string in. It's a tag you put on something and it swings. 
so I don't know if I'm going to call it a swing tag you'll find out in the title and description swing I quite like that and there we have it a little swing tag it just basically trebles your amount of journaling space and you've only got one thing to decorate haven't you and it's not too thick because we've not piled loads of stuff on I'll just stick a little label on what we've got in here I need to cut more labels because I'm down to mainly numbers and things that one's too wide what's that one and that's just a random number it's a little bit bent but you can't tell yeah that one will do I think I must have been about I must have been going to use that on something else because it's inked I'll get a bit more ink just to make sure and I shall glue this Wee, we got a wee in <laughs> you'll get some longer videos midweek I'm doing my junk mail journal and the junket July so yeah which side I'm gonna have it at that side this time there we go so there we have it some little swing tags I might make another one then we've got three foot thumbnail but as far as you're concerned I'm done <laughs> I might have to feed kids before I make another one eh? right so little swing tags I really think they're so cute and I've made use of those brads that I've got now aren't I yeah they were sat there they needed some using so little botanical swing tags I hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching and if you're missing the sound of my voice my video has been shorter you've got a load that you can go back and look through yeah <laughs> hint hint <laughs> So thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.